Welcome back, everybody. Join us this morning, Mick Bradford. Good morning. How are you? Good, good. Uh, Got to give you props for the giant shirt. Oh, thanks. Go Giants. Jeez, man. that was a, you know, back in June, I was thinking, are we going to we gonna make this happen or not? And yeah, I'm glad they went all the way. <laughs> yeah. Glad they went all the way. Speaking of going all the way, you're with the band Three Foot Giant. Yes, I am. Yes, tell, I am. Tell yeah. us uh, how, you, how you came up with the name of Three Foot Giant. Um, actually, um, we were at the schoolhouse. We were sitting around and with my drummer, Steve Parker, and bass player, Tom Staniford. And a good buddy of ours, Rob Brandt, was there, and he yeah. goes, he goes, I got the perfect name for you guys. He goes, Three Foot Giant. And he goes, because you're a three-piece band, and you got a giant sound. Right. So we took it and ran. Yeah. We took it and ran, yeah. And it's one of those names you never forget, too, because, I, like I said, I, I hadn't um, I'd met you before, but I definitely knew of, of uh, Three Foot Giant. Right, right. Yeah, you know, we were getting around. You know, we uh, took a little rest there for the last few months, and getting back into it again, and this is going to be our first gig in a few months at the Plymouth Hotel on okay. November 15th. And it uh, should be a lot of fun. Get back out there and start playing around again. Sure, and Plymouth Hotel, a, a great venue, out uh, indoors or out, you know, depending on where they have you set up. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm not sure where we're going to be set up. Um, actually, myself, I've never been there. Okay. You know, we played up country a lot, and uh, we played, you know, in town, main event, and BGs, and right. You know, and good little band. What kind of music do you play? Um, it's a blues rock. It's a blues rock. We uh, kind of would have. Oh, let's say the soul of Willie Dixon. Okay. The heart of Eric Clapton. Okay. And the kick in your pants rock like ZZ Top. Oh wow! So, so it's a it's a good band. Yeah. It's a good band. Yeah. These guys are great to play with. Um, known Steve the drummer pretty much my whole life. We've okay. been in a few bands in the Bay Area, and you know we're all from the Bay Area. Right. We were just discussing that. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, been up here. I've been up here the last three years. Okay. And uh, we actually were going to start a blues band with a female singer. But it seemed like every time, you know, we'd stop practicing, us three would just kind of start playing, and there was something special about that. So we mm -hmm. decided to take it and run. Okay. And you're the guitar player? I sure am. Okay. I sure am. And singer also. And right. we all sing in the band. Okay. And uh, we all got uh, blues backgrounds. Um, Steve, like I said, you know, him and I have been playing forever since, you know, elementary school. Right. Tom, he's been up here about 33. Well, he's been up here 12 years. He's been playing for like 33. I uh, got a real intense blues background, and um, I'm, I'm kind of the metal head of the band. There so. you go. <laughs> <laughs> when I when I saw him, I, 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 we just we just met moments ago, and I. I saw you and I heard of the name Three Foot Giant, and then I almost thought you almost kind of resembled Ron Jeremy, so I was kind of concerned <laughs> as, to, as to what the, the name possibly could be. He's but, dead now, isn't he? Right. <laughs> He's resurrected. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Three Foot Giants. You're going to be playing at the uh, uh, yeah. Plymouth Hotel. At the Plymouth Hotel, yeah. Okay. It um, should be a fun gig. I'm here to say, come on out, you guys. You're going to have a good time. Right. Is it going to be an admission charge, or is it just... Um, I don't believe so. I. Yeah. Um, we do, we are, you know, we do hire for parties and, right. you know, we're going to, like I said, we're going to start playing around again. Okay. And it's uh, good to get back and um, can't wait to see everybody, man. Yeah, sounds like a good time. It's going to be great. Okay. It's going to be great. Any gigs after the Plymouth Hotel? Line um, this is the first one in a couple months. Okay. So, um, you know, we're working on doing some other stuff. Okay. You know, I like to get, you know, I like to get this band into Sac, you know, Sacramento, play some blues clubs and right. possibly take it back down to the Bay Area and see what we can do back there. There's... We know a lot of people down there, and you know there's a lot of clubs we can we can sure. play at, which would be a lot of fun. Yeah, good stuff. I grew up in uh, Marin County nice. in the '70s and '80s, and uh, the music was the was yeah, the oh yeah, it's God, there's a lot of a lot of famous people from right. out of that area. Right. I mean, when they, when you your own little area has its own music awards every year. Right. right. <laughs> that, that should yeah, tell right. you that, right, a, right. there's something in the water, <laughs> <laughs> and, and obviously Mick drank it. <laughs> yes, I did. Because he's got it in his system. Oh, that, yeah. That's, that uh, my whole life. Whole yeah, life, yeah. Man. Did you did you start off as a kid? You like music? Yeah, you, you know, just... actually, um, I used to listen to all my mom's rock records when I was little. You know, Little Richard, Elvis Presley, uh, all, the, right. all the good stuff. Right. And um, started, I taught myself. You know, taught myself. Been playing since, like, the fifth grade year. And uh, I'd come home from school, lock myself in the room, and just play along with songs and learn. And, you know, took off with it that way. And, uh I love it, man. It's, it's cool. You ever get stage fright when you get out there? Or is that long, um, long, long? I go? did it first. Yeah. Did it first. You know, it, it depends. You know, when you get to a gig, and uh, you know, there's only a few people there. You're going, oh no, you know what's going on? And then pretty soon everybody kind of forms in, and we have a good time. Yeah. Yeah. You know, we always, we always seem to pull off a pretty good show. You play uh, original tunes, cover tunes. Um, we got, we got a couple originals. Yeah. You know, we do. Um, we'll be working on more of those. And um, 
mostly, you know, blues rock stuff. Right. You know, a lot of, if you, you know, George Thorogood good stuff, you know, right. Clapton things. And, Bat of the Bone. Oh, man, that, that's such a good song. That's such a good tune. <laughs> right. And, and, and those are the kind of tunes we need to keep alive, you know, yeah, so you people, know, can, people can remember. So we were talking, some of these musicians pass away, and, you know, keep, keep it, keep it, keep yeah. it alive. Well, you know, that's one thing we try to do is to play a lot of stuff that people aren't doing. Right. You know, and that's one thing that we have been, you know, congratulated on as far as People going, you know, you guys are really good, man. You guys are playing stuff people want to hear. And so we're just going to keep it along that lines. Is, is the band on social media or anywhere they can take a look at you? Um, yeah, we got a couple things on YouTube. Okay. Um, we got a few shots of the uh, Dandelion Days when we played that. Okay. And uh, there's a couple a little small segments from the uh, the train park gig in I own that we, oh. we last did a couple months back. Remember that. Great. Mick, thanks for coming in the studio. Thank you very much. Thanks for having yeah, me. Good to see you. And we are going to uh, take an ad break. And we'll be right back. Stay tuned. Bye, guys. Thank you.